What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we are discussing the newest member of the Halo Squid Games to be eliminated, and that is Frank O'Connor. Now obviously this is pretty much brand new to the news media right now, all across the gaming sphere, and so it's kind of hard to know what's going to happen with this new change happening to Halo as a whole, but recently Frank O'Connor, if you haven't heard, has officially quit Microsoft, and he's been part of the Halo series for roughly 20 years. This officially marks the end of an era because of the fact that if you look back at the original brew that helped develop Halo 4, including Bonnie Ross, Kiki Wolfkill, Frank O'Connor, and even Josh Holmes, all have been eliminated from these Hunger Games. Other key members like Joseph Staden have also taken jobs and left Microsoft as a whole. Him joining the Netflix gaming division, being a creative director of a new AAA multi-plat game, and all I gotta say, Joe, is good luck to you, buddy. But the big question that we have to consider here is what is the short-term effects on Halo as well as what are the, going to be the long-lasting effects that happen on the entire franchise because of these major shakeups in Halo Infinite's major leadership. So let's start off with the now. Obviously, the fact that these major executives on Halo have now been either shafted or changed position means that they're going to have a lot of different leadership positions available or already filled in by new members. And the fact that when you think about this as basically a brand new action that's happened, it's hard to tell whether or not there's going to be direct impact from this one incident. But one thing I will tell you is that there is going to be a good chance of a possible shakeup when it comes to how does Infinite progress going forward. Now, the question that a lot of people ask me is, what about Halo Infinite? Will it be continuing into the foreseeable future? Well, the fact is that there have been many leaks that have shown that there has been a lot of content being developed all the way through season six, and that includes going into next year. But the question is going to be whether or not that these leaks are true, as well as what happens after season six. One thing I'll say right away is that season three has been proven to be a pretty much success when it comes to player base count. But there are always going to be some criticism on some minor issues. Things like desync have been a problem overall with season three's update. But I got to say the new maps, the new weapons and, and obviously attachments like the shroud screen have been pretty much liked all the way around. And even the little adjustments like having the bandit rifle be part of the big team battle starts has also caught a lot of attention. But the big question is, what does this mean for Halo's future? I mean, a lot of people think, and I mean, including you will probably won't see a lot of major shifts to happen until the next major title. However, one thing I will say right now is that the fact is, if you are a Halo fan and you are criticizing 3 for 3's direction, you should be happy. Because if you really think about it, these three horsemen of the apocalypse have been part of 3 for 3 since the very beginning. And if you were disliking the direction from Halo 4 all the way till now, well, guess what? The entire leadership is now completely different. No more Chris Lee, no more Bonnie Ross, no more Kiki Wolfkill, no more, obviously, Josh Holmes and Frank O'Connor are all outie. The downside is, is that Joseph Staden, we, we all really wished could be here for the continuation of the Halo series, which is definitely a loss. He's been part of this franchise for such a long time, and he understands what it means to be a Halo game. Now, possible rumors or even just speculation overall have said that maybe 343 was going to be a publisher going forward, that instead of them directly working on Halo games, that they'll be pushing out these Halo IPs to different companies to make sure that it sticks to the story. Others have said that maybe 343 will work alongside other studios to develop the multiplayer, while somebody else might focus on story games. Like, is it possible that 343 could work alongside certain Infinity in this new Halo game that's gonna be developed in the Unreal Engine 5? It's quite possible. Now, there's a lot of people out there saying, well, can't we just stay away from a mainline story game and really just focus on having side stories be developed for right now. Would I be bummed to see other genres pick up a Halo game like a kind of a RTS, like a Halo Wars, or even a horror sci-fi? I wouldn't be bummed, but will it excite me to the level of seeing Master Chief on the main stage in an FPS game? It definitely won't excite me to that same level. But one thing that this proves to me right now is I don't see Halo really going away for really the foreseeable future. The fact is, whether you believe it or not, Microsoft still intends to have Halo as part of their ecosystem. Whether or not that means that they're gonna be the main game going forward, or they're going to be part of their lineup alongside Starfield and others, you can guarantee that Microsoft wants to keep Halo around, even if it means getting rid of some of their closest allies in this entire time, 
of how all these horrible monetization practices. Now, overall, when I'm thinking about this entire situation, the biggest thing I'm looking for 3 for 3 and this brand new leadership team is efficiency. Can they land on the content and finally give us things to do on a timely manner? Because if they can, I can guarantee you there'll be a lot more positivity coming around this Halo community. Because when you think about this overall, it shows you that not only were the fans upset with the direction that 3 for 3 was being led by, but even Microsoft understood that 3 for 3 over the past decade and a half has proven to make a lot of dumb decisions, especially when it comes to how poor their leadership was. Because if you take a look at their new leadership outline of all the people that have been either replaced or really put into brand new positions, it looks like an entirely new company. Because I think overall that there is actually a good chunk of people part of 3 for 3 that really do care about Halo and really want it to be really good. Because if you look at some of the content, like for example, in season three with the art style, maps, and different components that were added there, it shows you that they have a lot of work, good things coming along the way. But the issue that we see right away was that the leadership has just been bad. I think if 3 for 3 can stick to this new leadership method and possibly being more efficient at dropping updates and a lot better and just overall content based matter, then I think this is going to be kind of a good path going forward. I see a lot of content creators out there that are along that same mindset of saying, hey, this is a new turn for the series because of the fact that this is a brand new team that's now working on Halo. Now, they might share the same name, but to be honest, there are a bunch of new people here. If season four can drop with a progression system and have some more content with infection dropping during season three, then I'll think you're on a good pace here to actually have some good content to play for the next year. If you can fix some of those decent issues as well, then I'll just be happy about it. I think overall fans are just looking for a solid experience. And if this new three for three team can pull it off, then I think we're in the right direction. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about this new shakeup with the Halo leadership team? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Join us on Twitch where we stream two to three days a week. You can find that in the description below. Join us all of our socials also located in the description below. Until next time, this is Marsman from Marsman Gaming, signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>